In this video, we'll talk about sodium acetate, that's N-A-C-H-3-C-O-O, whether this is soluble or insoluble in water. So let's just look at this compound here, sodium acetate. It has this Na+, plus, sodium's in group one, so it's a one plus ionic charge. Then the acetate, this whole thing here has a negative charge. So they're ionically bonded together. The plus and the minus are attracted. That's sodium acetate. Sometimes you'll see sodium acetate written like this here. A little bit different. It's the same structure. It has the same ions. I like to write it like we have here because I can see the sodium and then I can see the acetate ion by itself. You also might note that this CH3CO minus, you'll see that written like this, C2H3O2 minus. So this is the acetate ion as well. So it's a little bit confusing. There's multiple ways we can write this. If we look at the solubility rules, we see right off group one elements. That includes the sodium ion here. If you have this sodium ion, they're going to be soluble. So sodium acetate, according to our rules right away, we know that it's soluble. It's not on this very brief set of rules. A longer set might have it, but acetates, they're also very soluble. So when we put sodium acetate in water, it's going to dissolve. It'll dissociate into its ions. We'll get the Na+, that's the sodium ion, and then we'll get the acetate ion here. And we could write it like this, we could write it like this, but they're the same thing, just organized a little bit differently. So in answer to our question, NaCH3COO, that's sodium acetate, is going to be soluble in water. And this is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.